Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say uh, good evening everyone, both the East West Coast. Hope you guys enjoyed your day today here on Monday. And hope you guys are also starting to wake up very um, positive and very bright. And for this video tonight, what I want to tell you about is Emma Vent's frustrations with WWE. So, let's go right into it. The link will be in the description below. This is from uh, SpringsideNews.com, posted on the 19th of September 2016. It's posted uh, today here on, on Monday. Uh, by Steve Carey website, and it says, Emma claimed that she was clearly returned to in-ring WWE competition six weeks ago and is getting frustrated with the way to return. She sent out the following tweet during tonight's Raw. This is from her Twitter, Emma at WWE. At Emma WWE. Uh, six weeks ago, I was cleared. Each week I wait, the more frustrated I get. I feel sorry for the person who's going to see it's all about me. And that's from uh, Emma's Twitter. And I think that, you know, Emma, from what I've been hearing, Emma made her return at a live event for WWE over the weekend or over the past week. And I think what's going to happen is um, leading up to Night Champions, when it comes to the Women's Championship match, uh, when I, I, and I predict that Charlotte will lose the Women's Championship to either, either Sasha Banks or Bailey, but I think Sasha will, will uh, win. Uh, after the match, uh, Charlotte is going to get first with Dana, and out of nowhere, Emma Emma comes out of nowhere and attacks Charlotte, along with Dana and uh, Dana Brooke joins as well as we get the uh, reuniting of Emma and Dana Brooke together once back together once again. I think that there was potential there before they put uh, Dana Brooke with Charlotte when Emma was injured. I think that Dana with Charlotte didn't really do her didn't do Dana any good. At all, I think that they did, did improve a little bit here. There, we her appearance, we came to her, you know, promos and you know, in-ring competition. But overall, you know, there really wasn't much that Dana could work with. And when they start to, you know, have these these comparisons to Dana White and Arn Anderson, that's where I start to get frustrated, angry, and feel insulted because Arn Anderson would is it, far more. It was actually ten times better than Dana Brooke will ever be. Um, let's just be honest about that. Uh, Dana Brooke right now, she she's green, but is still improving. But she's still green though, and so she's gonna need a lot of time um, to improve. And that's where uh, Emma comes in, because with Emma, I think that she could take Dana Brooke under her wing and show her uh, more of the ropes, and you know, maybe have Dana as more of the bodyguard, uh, to put in better terms of words. And I could see Dana Brooke and Emma. Feuding with Charlotte and a returning Paige, where Paige comes back to help Charlotte out. And I see Charlotte and Paige, you know, having their differences at first, but, you know, they decide to at least team up and take on uh, Emma and Dana Brooke as well. So that should be, be very interesting if that does happen. And speaking of Paige, I did not see her at Raw tonight, which is disappointing, but I think we will see her at Night Champions this Sunday, if not the night after uh, Night Champions on Monday Night Raw. But I told me also, guys, think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you real neutral about Emma Vince for frustrations with WWE? I'm so tell me in the uh, comments down below. Don't forget to watch the video. Don't forget always to come and show, guys. And until next time, was dead. Say peace. Take care. I will see you guys there. Next year coming up uh, tomorrow morning or in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. So until next time, take care, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a good night. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming up. Uh, soon or tomorrow. So uh, take care. I'll see you guys later. Bye.